You're watching TCT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. I'm joined by Sydney promoter Astrid van der Stoes. Thanks for joining us, Astrid. Thanks, Tommy. You're very welcome. We're here at the Sydney Olympic Park for Paul Nazari's um, Olympic Park show, yeah. Explosive Boxing 3. It's been a packed card, some oh, action-packed fights. What are your thoughts on this evening? Oh, it's been epic. He's, I guess there aren't that many people that can truly appreciate how much work goes into these sorts of events, and what he's pulled off tonight is phenomenal. Um, Credit to Australian boxing. I think it's yeah, it's fantastic. So hats off, Paul and Hannah. You've done a brilliant job. Absolutely, it's been a, yeah, a fantastic night. It hasn't been a, a badly matched card on a badly matched fight on the card. Um, no. Some absolute wars. Yeah. Um, so it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, and obviously, other great things going on in Australian boxing at the moment as well. So, I mean, like I say, as, as yourself as a promoter, you can appreciate the hard work that goes into that. I know you had a show last week which had. A lot more fights on it than this one, with, yeah, it, with yeah. it being a pro am. Um, so I think you had 17 amateur yeah, fights. 17 amateur fights, four pros. Uh, everyone said that there was no way in hell I was going to get through it, but we got through it, and uh, yeah, it was a fantastic night. I'm, I'm still smiling. It was just a brilliant night. Excellent. I think yeah, like those nights, you know, give give younger fighters, and amateur fighters, a chance to see what it's like to be yeah. involved in that kind of pro They're event. For these guys, yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah. How do you feel that night went? I know there was a big win for Ben Saver in there. Yeah. Um, I know Mitch Dawson was back out, ever popular on the Northern Beaches. So how did those fights go and, and how do you feel the night went? Uh, look, I'm, as I said, over the moon with how the night went. It was just, the, for me, the main thing was that I had maybe a few preconceptions as to how the pros were going to go and who yeah. was going to win what fight. And uh, if I put money on that, I'd be pretty poor today because there were wins going the other way to where I thought they were going to go and it was just really exciting. Um, sometimes the quality of the matchups, you're not 100% certain on this time around. I was stoked with all the matchups yeah. I had. Um, look, Ben has made an event against Abbas Mackey, he nailed it. Um, Abbas, I think, is in the wrong weight class and I know he's on his way down uh, to... Uh, super, super lightweight. Super lightweight or lightweight. Um, yeah, so I think that that's the right weight class for him. But look, he, he got through six rounds with Ben and Ben cut the ring down beautifully. Mm. Um, we had uh, a split decision, uh, sorry, a, a split decision draw between yep. uh, Mitch and Kerry. Kerry, uh, what's the yeah, correct, correct a... pronunciation of his name? Um, look, I, I need to watch the video on that one as a promoter you're running around like crazy yep. and you don't get to catch the full fight um then yeah I, I need to watch a video on that one i'm not sure where i would have called that um mikey fisher jumped in with robbie harris um mikey got a knockout in the fourth round uh he's improved amazingly yep. and uh we had zoran from townsville versus mark gittens mark got the win it was his first win um, again, which I know he's very happy about. Yeah, he's over the moon, but it was a split decision again. So I was stoked with the matchups. And that's and that, and something that I've said, a drum that I've been beating for quite some time that you know is lacking in Australia is yeah. those closely matched cards. I know that's something that you've always tried to do, yeah. and something we've seen again here with Paul Nazari's yeah. show. There hasn't been a badly matched card. There isn't a, a pick 'em side that you know these guys are going to win, yeah. which you can in a lot of fight nights here in Australia. Um, and do you think that things are just moving in the right direction? It's these kind of fight nights, nights like tonight, everyone's going to have had a great time here. They're going to push boxing in the right direction. Yeah, I, I think that um, whilst Paul and I operate very differently, like I'm not going to go and attempt something like this right now because I, I hats off. They've done a brilliant job. Um, but I think that our core objective is the same, and that is to have those closely matched cards. And I think that if we start to step, set that standard within the, the boxing world in Sydney, yeah. then hopefully other promoters are forced to follow. Absolutely, fingers crossed. But look, I know you've had a busy night, a busy week. We'll, um, we'll let you get off. Thank thanks a lot you. for your time, as always, Astrid. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon when your next show is uh, yeah. in the offing. Yeah, thanks very much, Tommy. No worries. Cheers, Astrid. Catch you later. Thanks.